your wonky footwork, that's where you go to there, and then you do this. So, she's here, because you tilted there. So it's not about... To me, it's not about that small stride. It's about literally at that point, I start giving the dog the information I'm doing that. So I'm almost giving it half a stride earlier than you two are. You wait till you get there and then throw it on them. And although you, as I say, Deb, although you're doing that, you're only here. And then he's got used to letting to make it worse. What he's got used to having happen is mummy steps out of the way there, seems like he got to here, and then that's why he's then got to throw himself all that way on step two and then you settle him. Whereas I say to the dog, get moving, settle yourself. Whereas you're going, don't get moving, throw yourself, and you're also going, don't get moving, here, out there, and then go throw yourself. So just giving it that, it don't need a short stride, all you need to do is just pull here. So it's just that little bit earlier, match. and then settle the dog down. And to me, if a dog can pull up on that first step, which is what they should do, two, next two steps are easy. Well, right. But what you're both doing is you're making step one so hard, you're putting them in the wrong pace, yeah. and then they're having to throw themselves out of the way. And that's why <laughs> James will want to lift his leg, and that's why yeah. you have to go here, Deb. You can do that. You put him forward and then you're going, get out of the way. And then I him. Bless him. And he growls at me. It's just where you put your centre of gravity for things. And in fairness, um, well, I'm very disappointed I don't want to throw you. I don't want to throw you. No, 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 no. The thing is, I don't want to throw you, James, because this is all a bit new to you. With you, Deb, it's still a lot of questions to ask of you, but you're closer to be able to do... This is new to you. You're closer yeah. to being able to do this, but you're not asking enough questions of either of you. And you're not... I think you've gone into... This is how we compete mode. You know, a bit like, like, it's not as bad as this, but like when I was saying the handlers go, wait. I think what I've got in my mind what's going is on. with the new mm -hmm. saying, you know, you're not going to get the to do it to him here and you gave the sit right by the ball which was good 
But to me, I just thought, if we about turn ask him to go backwards, he ain't gonna get that at all. Not a hope in hell. Because he was like, oh, they, oh we're being predictable. We're about to have come out a bit. And you almost did little things like that. Yeah. You know, like even going back to the baby stuff of being able to. And I know you can go, yeah, but this just does G him up the brain. But he needs G him up at times and then settle him out again. But things like doing your about turn, circle back. Yeah, straight line, right circle, fast pace down. So just going, don't ever presume, son, to know. But then I could do that, give the down, good boy. Go past him, not pick him up, call him up, then make it look like a round. Okay. Yeah? But what, where I think you've got a bit rusty is analysing when you're giving stuff, what your footwork is, where you need to be. Yeah? Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm back.